Hey everyone, it's Gemma. So today I've got a new season Zara haul and a try on video for you. I haven't done one of these type of videos for quite a long time, so it's long overdue. I've got a few things I wanted to show you all ready for the new season, so let's get going. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this top. Now this was $29.99. I really love the old puff sleeve puff shoulder trend that's in at the moment. I think it's really flattering, especially if you're wider on the hips because it kind of detracts from down that area. There is a downside to this top. It's really, really short. It stops, well, just on my waist, just above my waist. So I have layered this up. I've got a top underneath. I feel far more comfortable with it like that. It doesn't feel too bulky with the top underneath, but it may just look a little bit strange. So it's such a shame that it's just that little bit too short because I do really want to keep it. So it's whether it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable or not. And I'm not going to know that until I start wearing it. So the jewelry's out on that one. Now these trousers are part of a suit and I think they look really nice worn as separates. It has the split up the front of the leg, which I thought was a really nice detail. Kind of a take on the Victoria Beckham trousers. These are a little bit too big for me. I always get my sizing wrong with Zara trousers. I got them in large. They're too big. And yeah, another pair of trousers I bought in size medium are way too small for me, so I get it wrong every single time. I think these are a lovely pair of trousers for work, but also for day to day as well. And I've paired those trousers with this little top. Now this one is quite short waisted, but there's a big band at the bottom which is elasticated. That stops it from riding up, but also it's quite tight and it's actually quite nice because it feels like really tight underwear. I absolutely love the sleeves of this. And then you've got the elasticated sleeve as well. These boots are also Zara and actual fact they're really lovely boots. They've got a great heel height, not too high, and they're actually really comfortable as well. I absolutely love the satin trend that's around at the moment. I found this in store. I always love polka dots and I really like this. I really like the shape of this skirt. It's kind of got this ruching up the side and so it gathers around the tummy area which can do one or two things really. It can either make your tummy look bigger or, or actually give it a little bit of coverage. I think it's one of those skirts that could easily be dressed up, dressed down. I've tried it on with some boots. I've also tried it on with some heels as well and I'm sure it'd look great with trainers as well if that's your kind of style. So I was really pleased with this one. When I saw this hanging up, I absolutely loved the colour of it. The first thing I did was check to see if it was on an elasticated waistband because if they're not, they just simply don't suit me. And I saw it was, so I just picked it up and put it straight in my basket. Then I realised it had a zip. So although it is an elasticated waistband, the zip kind of prevents you from wearing it any other way because I prefer to drop them down to my hips. So I'm a little bit disappointed. There's no way I can wear this around my waist. It just makes me look huge. It was 25 99 This is a size medium. It's a great length as well. I've tried it on with these gold shoes. If you saw my last video, you may recognise them. And I thought the colours went really well together. Now I've just stuck it with this white shirt. I wasn't quite sure what else to put it with. As much as I love it, I think it's quite difficult to wear unless you're really, really narrow on the hips. Otherwise, these pleats are just going to be really unflattering. Which I probably won't be keeping this one as much as I love it, which is a real shame. So next up is this cardigan, very 70s, very Starsky and Hutch, I thought. I just thought it looked really cosy and I really liked the pattern as well. It was $49.99 and I downsized in this because it is really quite big. I know it's meant to be big, but I don't like things too big. I just think it makes you look bigger than what you actually are. So I got it in a size small and I thought it would look really nice with a pair of black jeans and a plain black knit underneath. I think it looked great with blue jeans as well maybe with a pair of winter boots as well. But for the winter, I just thought it'd be really cozy and comfortable as well. So I saw this online and I thought it looked like a really nice alternative to the classic trench coat. It was $89.99. The fabric, um, it's hard to describe. It's quite silky and sort of has a sort of a velvety feel. It's a really nice length and it's a great transitional piece when it's just too hot for a thick coat and you can style this so many different ways. It will look smart, great with flat shoes, great with heels, great with boots. Just a great multi-purpose trench coat. 